بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم أما بعد برذز السست السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome back to Al Islam Production once again. <coughs> so we're carrying on with our Tafsir Ibn Kathir series and we are on the third verse. And this verse is a very, very interesting verse and I would say that this verse should be the final verse. This should settle everything. It is such an important verse. Surat Ali Imran uh, verse 73 Towards the end of the verse, the Quran says, قُلْ إِنَّ الْفَضَلَ بِيَدِ اللَّهِ يُؤْتِيهِ مَنْ يَشَاءُ وَاللَّهُ وَاسِعٌ عَلِيمٌ Allah says, say, so he's saying to the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم, قُلْ O Prophet, say to the people, إِنَّ الْفَضَلَ Indeed, all the bounty بِيَدِ اللَّهِ is within the hand of Allah. Now that's the literal translation, is within the hand of Allah. يُؤْتِيهِ مَنْ يَشَاءُ Allah will give the bounty to whoever he wishes. وَاللَّهُ وَاسِعٌ عَلِيمٌ Now in this verse, if you look at what Ibn Kathir says, if you take the Salafi stance, that would mean that the bounty is literally within the hand of Allah. Can you see how much of a box-headed understanding that is? That Allah has a literal hand and then within that hand you have all the bounty of Allah. That's the literal meaning. Now, look at what Ibn Kathir does. He says, under the tafsir, this is his book. قُلْ إِنَّ الْفَضْلَ بِيَدِ اللَّهِ يُؤْتِيهِ مَنْ يَشَاءُ أي الْأُمُورُ كُلُّهَا تَحْتَ تَصَرُّفِهِ Look at he says. He says, Allahu Akbar. Ibn Kathir is actually doing ta'wil here. <clears throat> he is not even saying... That imrar, imrar ruha kama ja'at. He's not even saying that down here. Down here he's taken a totally different approach. He's actually carrying out ta'wil. He's interpreted the verse and he's given it a meaning. And he's saying, Ay al-umur kulluha tahta tasarufihi. That all the issues in the world. In al-fadla biyadillah. All the issues in the world. <coughs> they are within the dispose of Allah, uh, disposal of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are within the occupancy of Allah. Allah has total control over them. Inna al-fadla biyadillah. So all the bounty is within the control uh, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He carries on to explain. He says, وَهُوَ الْمُعْتِي الْمَانِ He is the one who gives. He is the one who restrains. He is the one who will keep something back. يَمُنُّ عَلَى مَنْ يَشَاءُ بِالْإِيمَانِ وَالْعِلْمِ وَالْتَصَوْرِ الطَّامِ Allah is the one who favors people with iman and with ilm. It is Allah. Nobody else can do that. Everything, all the bounties are within the occupancy and within, uh, they are at the disposal of, uh, disposal of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. يُضِلُّ مَنْ يَشَاءُ And Allah is the one who deviates whoever He wants. He will give guidance and He will deviate. Everything comes from Allah. فَيُعْمِي بَصَرَهُ وَبَصِيرَتَهُ Allah is the one who blinds a person's eyes and the eyes of his heart. So his apparent sight and the sight of his heart, Allah will take that away. وَيَخْتِمُ عَلَىٰ قَلْبِهِ وَالسَّمْعِهِ And Allah is the one who seals the heart and the hearing of an individual. وَيَجْعَلُ عَلَىٰ بَصَرِهِ غِشَاوَةً And Allah is the one who places over an individual's eyes and his uh, eyesight a, um, uh, a cover. وَلَهُ الْحُجَّةُ الطَّامَّةُ وَلَحِكْمَةُ الْبَالِغَةُ Now here in this verse, Allahu Akbar. Imam Ibn Kathir, رَحِمَهُ اللَّهُ He is making ta'wil. Now ask yourselves, my brothers and sisters, if taking the literal meaning was the correct position and if that was the path of the Salaf, <clears throat> then why has he left the literal meaning here? Because in the previous two places which I have shown you from Surah Zukhraf and Surah Al-A'raf, I have shown you, Ibn Kathir rahimahullah says that the madhab of the Salaf is to just pass by them. Now, why has he not passed by? And this 
passing by them and leaving them, we refer to this as tafweed. Tafweedul ma'na, leaving the meaning to Allah and just passing by them. So, if taking the literal meaning like the Salafi, the contemporary Salafis do, these mubtadi'a, mushabbiha, if that was the true position, if that was the correct position, if that was the position of the Salaf, then why has uh, Ibn Kathir not carried that out here? Okay, now, a question can be raised, and that question is, well, if tafweed was the correct position, then um, why didn't he carry out tafweed here? Just as you can ask them, why not carry out the tafweed down here? Why didn't he do imrar wa kama jaat here? Okay, to understand this, you need to understand, my brothers, what is tafweed? Tafweed, the purpose of tafweed is to take away the reader's mind from the literal meaning because the literal meaning does not befit Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the objective and the purpose of tafweed is to take away an individual's mind away from that which does not befit Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Similarly, ta'wil is also a form of tafweed because when you do the ta'wil, when you interpret it, and you give it another meaning, then what you are doing is you are fulfilling the same objective and purpose of tafweed, which is to take the reader's mind away from the literal meaning. So ta'wil, what you need to understand is ta'wil is an in-depth uh, form of tafweed. Tafweed is your first step, ta'wil is your second step. So we can ask the Salafis, if Ibn Kathir was upon your path, then he should have taken the literal meaning of Qul inna al-fadla biyadillah. But they can't ask us that. They can ask if Tafweez was the correct path, why did he not continue to do Tafweez? Because he did continue to do Tafweez. Because Ta'wil is a form of Tafweez. So my brothers and sisters, one more verse. This is the third video where you can see that Ibn Kathir rahimahullah, is refuting them. Ibn Kathir is far away from their methodology. He is far away from their stance and their position. And bihamdillahi ta'ala, by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is upon our stance, or shall we say, we are upon his stance, alhamdulillah. We are upon his stance. My brothers and sisters, stay firm and stay away from these mubtadi'a, mushabbiha of modern era. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.